Now, turn our attention to our business agenda. U.S. job growth again came up short of expectations. In August, the economy added 142,000 jobs, a little less than what economists had expected. It's an uptick from the July reading. It's the last one before the Fed meets this month. Now, as we've discussed at great length on this program, Fed decisions is known as the monetary lag. Think of it this way. The cake has been baked. And now, at least as relates to this recovery and or this slowdown, it's too late to tinker with the recipe. So here's how we got where we are. This is the Powell delight. The Fed decided to mix into the batter. It's sprinkled in five 25 basis point rate hikes. Those were at the beginning of the end, end of the cycle. Then Chef Powell added a heavy dose of 75 basis point hikes to really make things move. Or four in total, all in 2022. He then mixed in 250 basis points hikes. And then you have the balance sheet reduction, which also combined with a bit of a whisk. All in all, the Fed has baked at 525 basis points oven for a touch more than a year. And this is what you are left with. A big layered cake. And this is the day, this is today's economy. And what we're doing, of course, every day in about our everyday business, we are cutting it and experiencing it. So now time to cut the first slice and work out just how big is the slowdown? How much of this is as a result? Mm, it's very good. Nathan Sheets, I should have sent you a slice because I know that you are very keen on monetary policy and cakes. But the reality is, Nathan, you're the chief economist. Well, obviously, you know the reality. You're the chief economist, global economist at Citigroup. But my point is, all this talk of has the Fed left it too late? Has the Fed done this? Should the Fed have done the other? It doesn't matter. The cake is baked. It's going to happen now, regardless. Uh, I, Richard, I think that's very fair that uh, you, this economy is clearly slowing. Uh, what's no, not so clear is whether the next step in that slowing is uh, a soft landing or something sharper, more nonlinear that feels uh, like a recession. And the Fed can respond at this stage. And if we do get into recessionary conditions, blunt the effects, temper the effects a bit. But I think that whether or not things turn down from here or soft land is pretty much already baked. I think right. it's in that cake that, uh, that you're eating right now. I'm feeling so guilty enjoying this cake and not having sent you a piece. Um, but look, f following on from the first part of your sentence, there is a trajectory that has now been established, i.e. the baked cake. If we just continue on the trajectory that we are already seeing, because any rate cut can't affect that trajectory in the short term, does that take us to soft landing, in your view, on the existing trajectory? The existing trajectory, in my view, is one where we're seeing a gradual slowing uh, in consumer spending a gradual weakening or loosening in the labor market. And I think if we continue on that trajectory, we're more likely to have a soft landing. The recession comes if things get worse in a marked fashion from where we are uh, at the moment. And it's altogether possible, but it hasn't happened yet. So what would have to happen for things to get worse? And now, it's a range of things, isn't it? Everything from geopolitical to uh, strategic, uh, to, to not moving now, um, then, then we would be in a different, a, a different environment. In, indeed. I think the key question is, are we going to get to a point where firms not only are not enthusiastic about hiring labor, are firms going to start laying off their workers? And we have not seen that yet. But I think that is, that is the key question. If we get to that right. point where, where, where CEOs are saying too many workers, we got to lay folks off in mass, uh, then we're more likely to move into those recessionary uh, conditions. Dis uh, I'm not taking you into political waters, but Donald Trump, Trump's yesterday in his economic speech says 
it's an economic catastrophe, worst economy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know many economists um, uh, that, that would necessarily agree with that characterization. But there is a rotation. In, well, I'm not sure it's a rotation in the market. There's a repricing of risk and equity risk at the moment as to whether or not existing prices can be justified, equity prices. How much further would you think we've got on that to go? So there's clearly a softening uh, in the economy that has significant implications for earnings of, of the corporate sector. And I think that we're seeing uh, the markets struggle with valuations right. uh, in this right. environment. You know, these equities have been priced quite aggressively. And uh, I think uh, we are probably only part of the way through Got it. kind of thinking through whether the current prices are actually justified by uh, the, this current slowing, easing economy. But to be clear, you don't yeah. see a crisis. No, no, this is not a crisis environment. Even if we do have a recession, by historical right. standards, it's likely to be a very mild recession. Are you more of a carrot cake, cheesecake, or chocolate cake man? Richard, uh, I am distinctly all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> True economist. One cake, three flavors. I'm glad to have you on the program tonight, sir. And bon appetit and have a good weekend.